Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we're doing a multi-camera, three camera angles, full production value on Crokinole. Not because we just want to play Not, Crokinole. this is definitely not an excuse to spend working hours just playing one of our favorite, if not the best dexterity game of all time. I do have one caveat that I want to paint a picture for though. Hey Crokinole player. Yeah, you. <laughs> it's nice to see you here over on Quackalope. Guess sure. what? I love your game. I'd love to do more of your game. Guess how you can make that happen? If you leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and hit the thumbs up button, I will have no excuse but to play all of your game all of the time as much as possible. If this video fails, guess what? I'm playing Crokinole by myself alone forever and not sharing it with the world. If this video does well, we're gonna share it with everyone and we're gonna do so many more gameplays. I love this game. I love this game yeah. so much. We've played probably 10, 12 hours worth of it over this last week together. We've played a lot. Oh, now, for those of you watching, we are playing on a custom made Quackalo board from Tracy Boards. He did send this board to us after I expressed a desire or an interest in this being a grail game of mine. Mm -hmm. I love Crokinole before he sent the board uh, and we will leave a link down to his store page and his shop page. These are professional grade, super incredible boards, but this video is not to advertise Tracy Boards, although it will. This video is to play Crokinole. It's a, uh, it's a good game to play. Devin is a master at his craft, so if he wins, it's expected. If he loses, I had an amazing victory. <laughs> I don't know how I'm a master at the craft. I haven't played that much more yeah. than you. And with that, <laughs> who wants to take the uh, first shot? You got yourself glissed up already. Go for you it. Open it. You open it. You open the door for me. All right. You want to set up the rules of Crokinole real quick? Give it, give it a 30 second. Yes. Because so. I was going to play without any context. No worries. By the way, Devin over at Devin Talks Tabletop <laughs> does board game content as well. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, this is a game where you are trying to score the most amount of points and each round ends with only one of the two players getting points. If the board is open, which means none of Jesse's opponent's discs are on, which yep. is the current state, you are trying to get into the center ring, hopefully into the innermost ring, which gets you 20 points and comes off of the table or off of the board onto the holders or wherever you're keeping track of those. If, however, I have a board here, then instead of trying to get points, Jesse must must hit your disc. Thank you so Into much for those hole. points. That's a good start. All Terrifying. right, we will do that. That's why I didn't uh, use mine though. You see how this one's pre-prepped? It's pre-prepped, ready it. to go. Yeah. So if there's ever an opponent's discs, you have to aim for it. You go until you move through all 12 of your discs. And at the end of that, you check the board state, counting up the 20 points, the 15 points, the 10 yeah. points, and the five points. And whoever has the um, difference um, of points, whoever has the most on there, they yeah. count, they subtract what their opponent scored and get the difference as their score. So if I had 40 at the end of the round and Jesse had 60, he would end the game with a bonus or in the round with a, you know, cumulative 20 points added to his score. Yep. You typically go to about 100 and then play again. Because plays, why would you play just one game to 100? You plays, play again. Plays great solo, plays great two player, plays great four player, which we've mm -hmm. been doing where each person plays in a cross team. And you have two player two doubles quarters. or four oh. player doubles is just fantastic. Excellent way to play. With that being said, now we're just gonna, I think. Let's just play Crokinole. Like, talk to each other a bit. Yeah, and, like, we can just play Crokinole. I mean, when we normally play Crokinole, we actually do bridge into other conversations. We talk about a lot of different stuff. So like, we'll have to we'll have to get natural again in the context yeah. of the fact that we're recording. Let's see what's happening here though. That's a good place to start. Oh, clean opening and I've gained the respect of all the Crokinole fans. Oh, oh and, and I have lost not. <laughs> it. Love that. Now what I'm, I wanna bop you out of there. Fair. There we are. And I want to... You want to leave me alone. I want to get in there what and you want to get do. in the 20. Absolutely not. You suck. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now I'm a, a you've little... Got, you've got open though. I've got a bit of an awkward angle though. It's... An... <sighs> Ooh. Now, what I can do here is I can bump mine into yours, possibly, mm -hmm. uh, which might give me a chance to ricochet off of mine and in, but if I don't hit yours in the process, you lose. If you don't hit the opponent's disc, but you hit your own, yeah. any disc you touched of your own and the one you hit, all go away. Here's the problem with the other angle I have though. The other angle runs the risk of knocking mine out mm -hmm. and and just not. Oh dear. Yeah. There we are. That was fine. That's exactly that was, that was what I was going for. That's exactly that what I wanted. It's 100% what I wanted. I think I'm just gonna get you out of the center. Are you? Well, you're mostly out of there. All right. 
I've got another one of these. <gasps> That's a bummer. Did not hit your disc. You didn't? I don't think so. I don't think you did actually. I don't so that think gets, so. Does it, did you hit all of yours? I I, I think, think you hit I these hit three. three. I don't think you touched that I didn't one. touch that one. Oh, that's brutal. It's a good thing you said something. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Now this is a little bit of a of a problem. So yeah, you're let's not talk about a little leave, bit of a problem, Devin. You're not supposed to leave your seat, but you can. You can half butt relocate it. Yeah. and half butt side it. cheek it, which I will do. Good shot, but that one's off. So that's fine, but all right. <sighs> I'm okay with this so far. You keep getting me at this. This angle is not. That angle there is not strong for me. Let's see here. Clean. Solid. I'm gonna try and get a ricochet shot, I think. Oh, that's not good. I like that ricochet that's shot. That's not right good. There. That's my favorite type of ricochet shot. Now, I'm planning on bumping mine. And getting into the 20. That's, that was not bad. It was a, it was a good shot. It just didn't, didn't get where it needed to be. Oh, oh, it's hovering. Oh it's my gosh, hovering. I feel like a table shake or something <laughs> would just do this. The best chance is a soft tap. Oh, see now. A soft tap in. Now my hope is that I can. Clean both of them out of there. Like a garbage man on Thursday. No, you should be able to We're gently still knock right. that that's, and get yours in actually. That's what I'm thinking. <gasps> yep. That was what I was worried about. That was about. stressful though. That was what I was you worried about. You know it about. was. All right, Tuesdays are not made for this. <laughs> you're a bad person. <laughs> I've said it before, but I'm willing to say it on camera. You're just a bad person. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big clear. That was a big board clear. <laughs> okay, okay, this is not too bad. I can... There we go. All right, best bet for me is a ricochet. Is a soft lump in and I didn't get it. So I'm 20 up right I now and we've got points. I do have to hit his disc You're 25 though. 25 up at the moment. You gotta clean my disc if you don't, but you've got an easy bump in. Yeah, at least so you that yours gets yours off. 20 plus 35. 10 and five is 35, 35 up. Good round. Now the nice thing about rounds like that, it's not over till it's over and the odds of coming back are pretty good by the fact that, all right, let's 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 start actually having a conversation beyond just reality. Beyond just Kroganol? Books. What's your go-to? What's your like favorite? Because I'm I'm planning on backing this Sanderson book series. Okay, you're planning on backing that. So have here, you here's read what I Stor say. Stormlight Archives yet? I have. It's the one truly. It's the one series of his that I have read. I've read all four of the major novels, and then I've read the two intervening smaller like novella half half books. I've been recommended those. Um, the the smaller ones. Yeah. So the smaller ones go in between the actual main story. So you you would need to kind of. I've been recommended at least one of his smaller novellas because it's a bite sized version of what he does really well. Uh, That's let's what see. I out of those, I think one's called Edge Dancer or something, and then I can't remember what but the what other was one's your, called. What was your thought on the Stormlight Archives? Stormlight Archives is fantastic. Ugh. Uh, it's fantastic, but you have to couple that with the fact that like they're huge books. They are. Um. So he's insanely prolific. He's very prolific. Uh, it, it's just a matter of like what level <laughs> matters what level of investment you want. Um, there you go. See. Yeah, but I like doing that without you getting a disc in first, man. That's the, that's the issue. That's the real issue. So let me ask you this. So you, you introduced me to Red Rising, which I, oh, I love that trilogy. I love Red Rising. I, mean, I know you aren't as hot on the secondary trilogy, but I love that series. The secondary is not as good, man. It it, it gets better. It, it gets, gets better, better, but it, it starts being a little disparate, and I like it when you're focused on one character. Mm -hmm. Do I'm you okay think, off you. of me loving Ender Game, Ender's Game, off of me loving uh, Red Rising, am, am I going to be potentially interested in this other version of fantasy? I also love Lord of the Rings. I, I love, like, the Hobbit. So, high fantasy... Uh, especially with authors like that and series like that um, are two things like number one You could like it you could not like it could because hit or miss the thing that I felt you disliked in The secondary trilogy of Red Rising. Let me establish this though. I also loved Game of Thrones until they ruined it And I think you're gonna talk about multiple character pathways. No, no, no. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's not the fact that there's multiple character pathways That's just something that you'll have to accept 
um, if you decide to read that series. What I'm talking about is the amount of time that you have to take to invest in the arc to where it gets to kind of like those climactic moments sure. in the book. Sure. Like it takes, you know, the, the, the biggest compliment and the biggest detractor I could give to a book like that mm -hmm. is that they are a thousand page books where the first 600 pages will take a while mm -hmm. and then the last 400 pages you'll read in like one and a half days. There's a lot of not happening right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm really frustrated by the current state of the board. I like that I'm heavy on your side, but I hate that I, I don't have good center control and I just, that was not what needed to happen there. You could potentially clear a lot of my out though and I haven't been able to get to yours. That's, yeah, that's the hope. That one will work. So we've got a ton of blockers right now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm okay with how much I have in the center actually. Oh, and that really hurts. I you. need to make up a lot of points. That's it, though. Oh man. Yeah, that, that didn't that didn't do well for you. Good clean. So, that's that might be. Is this ten and ten? That's near game. Um. So I had this is forty five plus this is fifty five, and I had 55, what? Thirty five. So ninety. Ninety. Let's two. go. Let's play it hundred, and then let's, let's play. Let's look, play the next. Game. <laughs> so. I, I, it, it sometimes is a little bit of a, of a grind to get to that later point in those yeah. novels, but the resolution, because you've invested so much time in those characters, when you get to like the build of their arc and you start to sure. see them like take charge of wherever they are in the narrative or have like the the biggest moments happen Good um like it's so it's so satisfying and enriching um and you just burn through a ton of pages as you see all of these like threads slowly start to connect and um you know you see kind of like the design of what brandon sanderson or any of those authors are doing and I, I really enjoy them, but then, man, this is one of those shots that I hate. Yeah. I've either got, I've either got a That's probably the angle here. I would do. It's got the widest girth. I've got a straight here. That's really narrow. And this is has the risk of catching that one. Yeah. But I've got a butt lean here, and I don't like a butt lean. And I, and I, and I don't like a butt lean. Not that way, man. <laughs> and you've still, you've still left I've still me got with that the worst. There. <laughs> I'm, worst, I'm, I'm okay shot, with this setup man. right now. Oh, this is not gonna work for me. <laughs> oh, there you go. I touched it. I'm gonna try and ricochet in. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. Sometimes I play significantly better than this. Ah. Uh, well, uh, there you go. There, there, there's an easier grab. Except I'll I should just, have stayed I'll on the board. Yeah, I'll just go for the 20 now. <laughs> ah. I was hoping that it wouldn't bounce me out. I was hoping to, to nick you into that other one. Well, that actually might help me. Yeah, I know. Creates a little blocker for you. Yep. Now you've got to hit the hard ones, but you've blocked off that path. <laughs> Woo, nice clear. And we're on, right? Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below. Is it half off? clean or is it on the line clean? So we each play differently, which we kind of do in house rules. Uh, Jesse and Shira play that if it's at least halfway into yep. a section, it stays in that section, uh, including the outer ring. I play as soon as it touches a line, it degrades it from 15 to 10, 10 to five, and then out. Yep. Um, oh dear. Um, so, oh, I've got to hit that one. So, yeah, um, but there are plenty of other uh, books that I enjoy reading. I'm really big right now on, if I'm not in a big heavy book like that, I like to be reading graphic novels because I love the visual sure. immersion. And then I also, like Saga, Saga just restarted. Saga's and great. I, I, uh, I haven't... Um, I haven't read the newest issues that are out because I kind of I kind of read them in a... Um, I'm on my last one. Is I know, that I, accurate? Yeah, I'm, we're clean. Yeah. Uh, Right. So I think that's game. Good game. Let's do it again. <laughs> it sounds good. Um, you know, I am doing it uh, from the perspective of 
uh, volumes, so I wait till all, like each six yep. issue that's, stuff that's is the out. Same way we've been doing. It. Um, so I, I don't read it issue like issue by issue. Um, I've got all twelve for me. Yep. You want to go ahead and take the first shot? Sure, I'll go first. And I, I can't wait for Saga to get to the point where I can get the because that ended on a big note. Did it really? Um, it did. It ended on a big note with I think it was book nine. Um, really enjoy that one for sure. Good, Good starts. Ah, you might have left gun. me to touch you there too. Yeah, I think you can get in. Ooh, thank goodness. I was a little right leaning. I think I can. It's nudge not the first you time in. I've said that. Oh, I thought I could. Thought I could sneak into the to the twenty hole there. Hmm. Trying to hide behind a corner there. A oh, bit. tried to like, right. bring it in. That might give it to you though. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that was that beautiful was too. I love that. I love getting a 20 out there at the same go. time I, I see yep. one. Yep. All right. Yep. Do I buckle one with a side butt? Do I clean into this and knock you farther in? I think I'm going through this smaller doorway. I don't think you I are. hate that feeling. And I'll just I was give you too the angry. same. And I was too angry. I'll give you the same shots I know, to go I know. for. I, <laughs> my problem was there that I wasn't, I wasn't patient go. enough. Oh, see, that was beautiful. That's what should have happened the first time. Don't like you. <laughs> that one, I'll take that. All right, I'm making, I'm making some dumb mistakes right now. Oh, I couldn't get it in. Oh, dear we go. Yep, but that might be able to help I me hope out. it's not a doorway. Oh, I hate that. Do you know how, do you know how rough that is? <laughs> it's, it feels pretty rough. Shh. Hmm. You're you're four on me, man. Yeah, but you have three. I know, but currently you got to deal with the point differential. I would try to go here, hit that, and maybe rebound in. Yeah, I'll give it. A, that's a hard. Thank you. No problem. For the advice. It's. I mean, it's 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 a good shot. It's just such a tight shot. I don't always have. You got one more. I don't always have those squeezes. You know what I mean? Like that. So that's 20 that plus 25, in. so 45 up. All right. All right, I'll make it back this next time. I have beaten you before. <laughs> you have. For the record. Yeah. <laughs> for, for the record. So, if, I, I will say this, I'm gonna give out, I'm gonna give some random shout outs of books. Okay. Um, number one, the Millennium Trilogy has probably my favorite female character ever, like female protagonist who's like the lead of the story. Her name is Lisbeth Salander. You might be familiar with her because it is the first book and following sequels of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh, cool. It is an absolutely fantastic, now I will say this, it is a graphic trilogy. Yeah. Like it's mature rated, do not like let a teen so or I something can't like that. Uh, yeah, you probably couldn't. But uh, not that you couldn't read it, you shouldn't. But um, it's w w definitely one of my favorite uh, female protagonists um, ever e ever created. Ah, really enjoy that. Another one that's good is the Dust. What am I doing? Dust. What Earth. am I doing? That was just dumb. Uh, wool Shift and Dust, or Wool Dust and Shift, I can't remember, but that trilogy is fantastic. Also, super impressive uh, female protagonist. It's just a badass. Super awesome to, to read her her you know character arc and growth. Um, but uh, that's another one that's really good. Saga is amazing as a uh, as a graphic novel. Love that to death. Um, golly, there's so many. So um, for me, it's Red Rising was. Red Rising, an incredible trilogy. audiobook so experience. Uh, uh, Ender's Game, but not Ender's Game like you'd think of well it. Well done. Yeah, Good thank you. Clear. Uh, not Ender's Game like you'd think of it. I actually prefer the the trilogy that comes afterwards. It was supposed to be a dual book, but it's Children of the Mind uh, and Zenith side. Yeah, it's Children of the Mind and Zenith um, side. Yeah. That was supposed to be one compendium of a book, but it's the best exploration into uh, the mindset of meeting a species that is sentient that we don't know how to communicate with. Yep. Children I, of the Mind is so good. I never read Xenocide. Oh, dude, they're they're this, they're they're together. If you love, yeah. he literally made. They were too long, so he split them. I'm just not making some of these shots, man. It's the glare from all the lights. Oh, yeah, you know, it's it's it's, just, it's the you know it's the it's the camera glare. Nice. I have some nice shots, and then every now and then I just you know. There you go. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. 
Ah. Right. It's not great. Man, I just did not take advantage of that open board there. <sighs> ah. Well, that's okay. I can try to ricochet in with that. I'm so... I've been floundering this game. I think I'm going to get... Is that your last? Yeah. Okay. So five and five. Clean. And then I've got 40... That's plus. game for you. Third yeah. game. Let's go. Let's do it. Best three out of five, right? That's what we always said from the beginning. <laughs> That's what we said from the beginning. Um, yeah, no, the, the, those are really good books. Um, another one that was fantastic, which um, all three, I don't think any other book series or authors ever achieved this, N.K. Jemisin, um, the fifth season. Um, that trilogy, every single one of those books won the Hugo Award. Hmm. Like, you know, the sci-fi Oscars in, in terms hmm. of like what that is. Every one of, every book in the trilogy won the Hugo. Um, and, oh, it's it's really good. Um, it's It definitely, it kind of shows you how much sci science fiction and fantasy are sometimes the same world, just framed in different language and different like narratives um really good really good series um it took i will say this took me a while to like get into it um but once i was in it was like hook line and sinker so was very happy with that trilogy you are just i'm not my, getting my biggest fan i'm not i'm not getting some of those shots that I really should be. I need to pull you off the center though if I'm gonna be going for them. That was a good shot. I know. I have some of those, man. I have good shots I'm every now and then. try and keep some behind the bumpers for you. The problem is- Make my, them annoying. I'm not, I'm not in a good spot like to lean this way. Uh huh. And I think I've been cautious of like the camera and stuff. Like yeah. just trying not to cut into it, but I've got to just get over that. Ooh, dirty. Dirty. Shall try to sneak in there. Because what I can't do, I cannot drown in points early on like I've been doing. That was really good. That, can that cancels us out on 20s. Now it's just about the board control. Hmm. I'll get you behind the. Good shot. Thank you. Um, what trying, about movies? To get in movies there. or documentaries? Uh, man, I just saw, um, I just saw the Batman. Did you go first? Mm -hmm. Are you out? Mm -hmm. So that's 30, yeah, walk 30, 30. Uh, I just saw the Batman. I thought that was an e excellent detective flick. Uh -huh. Um, it's like film noir, slow, gritty. Uh, Batman's super menacing the whole time. Yeah. Um, I am watching Euphoria at the mm. moment. Nice. Which is rough, man. Yeah. Rough. It's rough. Uh, it's a great TV show. Uh, I'll be really explicit, um, probably to the point where I, I probably shouldn't be watching it, uh, but I'm super absorbed in like watching, uh, you know, what's her name? Um, uh, Zendaya? Well, what's her Zendaya? Spider name, Spider Man name. Oh, uh, LJ. MJ. MJ. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm super invested in watching MJ before she was dating Spider Man. <laughs> is, is that the world of the story? <laughs> no. Do you know what Euphoria is? I know what it is, yeah. I, well, I, I know of it and I know conceptually some things, but I, I'm not like, ooh, good start. It's, it's dark, it's high school, it's drug abuse, it's. Ah, and I saw start. a lot of reviews that were like, it's taking teenager years to the extreme. Yeah. And the answer is yes. But the answer is also, they're focusing on five people that have extreme lives. And darn it, if I didn't know people that were in this mech, me like, yeah. I remember sitting in English class in 10th grade mm -hmm. with a girl that I had the biggest crush on, uh, you know, but she was also tragic. She like, no, like, this girl was also tragic. She was like, super, super cute, uh, like five foot Latina girl. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought she was awesome. She was smart, she was witty, she was artistic. And she'd walk into English class with either a, uh, you know, a twenty, or like a thirty-six ounce McDonald's cup, half filled with with whiskey, mm. or she would crush a pill and snort it before class started. Like, that's heavy. Yeah, I know, but I know, like, so yeah, you're focused on five people that have an extreme life, but but also 
people can identify with that. I don't think it's not true. I don't think it's not yeah. accurate in some regards. Everything in the show has read uncomfortably accurate for some people. And then yeah. there's me, who like was extreme in some ways. Like, you know, I, I was weird and, and, and quirky and changed schools a lot, but there's also the side that like, sometimes you just have like side characters. Yeah. And I relate with some of the side characters as well, you know, Valid. watching the world happen. Like, oh, I'm okay with that. I don't like it when they say no. But I think I'm gonna have to. What about you, M media and stuff? What are you consuming, TV shows, movies? Um, TV shows, movies, currently just uh, not like, oh, that's brutal. I'm just going to try to ping mine in. Ah. Um. Yeah, that's just not good for me. Um. I'm going to try and hide mine. Yeah, I got a butt lean a little in bit. In terms of media, uh, I've watched quite a few TV shows. Like, uh. Um, I've watched quite a few climbing documentaries on okay. Netflix. Um, Everest and stuff. The, the Alpinist. Yeah. Um, Fourteen Peaks. Uh, a while, a long time ago, I watched the uh, um, uh, Free Solo. Okay. Um, Some of but, those things are but, intense. Uh, yeah, the Alpinist is really intense. Fourteen Peaks is intense. Um, I was trying to get it in. And then uh, I've also watched the Don't F with uh, Cats, Cats oh, and the uh, follow-up that she just recently did, the Tender, Tender Swindler. I haven't seen that. Uh, um, Don't F with Cats is fascinating because it's both heroic for the internet and also... Messed up. Like, the internet's a bad place sometimes. It is. And they really, for good intentions, ruin people. Yeah, yeah. You know, but to be fair, just don't screw with Cats, man. You'll all be, like, all You're life good. will be good. Like, yeah. Oh. Alrighty, I need to. I, I've got to get hurt. points on the board, and I've got to negate your twenty. <gasps> oh, and I uh, wanted that, and that's that what is, I got, and brutal. I did it, and I'm very proud of myself, Dad. I hope you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Knock something off. I can't do that one. I've got to stay on the board. That's what I got to do. Because if I stay on the board, I can't go for the twenty. We work our way back into the middle. You can go for the 20 now. You'll not get it, but you can go for it. I should shut up. This is always where it bites me. Don't you dare. Good. So these Good. cancel. This is 10. You Good. got 40. So you got 30, 30, 30. We're up. We're tied. Good game, man. I'm glad I'm finding my feet a little bit. I told one of these Crokinole players that I was good, and then, like, lost their <laughs> respect throughout the course of these videos. I mean, to be fair, we probably both have lost a lot of respect, because most of the Crokinole games I watch is them just repeatedly sinking 20s, and then one are person those will mess more, up once. Are those more fun or less fun? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's probably fun to win, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's your lead. I just scored. Yeah, you just scored. Yeah, I'll take it. <sighs> ah! Son of a gun. But yeah, so I've, I've watched those. Um, in terms of documentaries that you can watch, um, also Icarus is really good, okay. um, which is an award-winning one. I think it won Netflix its first Oscar. Okay. Um, it's excellent. And then if I could just give a random shout-out for one, it would sure. be to the follow-up from uh, Icarus, uh, which is The Dissident, mm. which is about uh, Saudi Arabia mm. and the killing of uh, Jamal Khashoggi, who was mm. the Washington Post um, correspondent sure, sure. from Saudi Arabia, who criticized the um, royal family and then was murdered in his own embassy. Uh, and that one, because of the financial influence of Saudi Arabia, is not available to stream. You can, well, it's it's available no. to stream, no but kidding. Netflix and Amazon, none of them would allow it into their library, so you have to personally buy it. Um, now, is it just because they're like, hey, we'll cancel all of Netflix if this is... It's it's just them saying that, like, the, the, the financial pressure from Saudi Arabia was like, we're not gonna, we can't circulate this. Interesting. Um, so you can get it, but you have to pay for it. Okay. Maybe it's worth watching, then. Is that half over? It looks half yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, that's... But it's really good too. Very sobering though. I am fantastically okay with that. Did you just that. see what happened? That and is I'll the, just sink that some is the stuff most painful happening. type of rejection in this game. <laughs> but I didn't want to get you. The rubber posts are brutal. I didn't want to dig you deeper in. That was the, the thing I was trying to avoid there. <laughs> and again, man, rubber posting me all day long. I know there was a better angle. I just gave him two 20s. <laughs> 
and I missed, and I missed. Ugh, I couldn't get a third one in a row. Now that is a little bit of a... I'm so frustrated with those double posts. That was just... They're painful. That They're was painful. just bad for me. That's it's out. It guttered first. So I'll just try to nudge that in. Ugh, Here's the question. On the professional videos, do you ever see someone just have a crocodile chip go <laughs> flying? <laughs> no, I don't think I really ever do. Because that's what you get when you come here. Uh, man, I, I got to tell you too... Kudos to what Marvel and Disney have been doing with the Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. It is the most, whether or not you like them, it is the most mind-blowing approach to, yeah, it's a good shot, right? It's the most mind-blowing approach to intertwined media that's ever been done. I am. It's, it's really, it's a lot. I am shocked as they keep on putting stuff out. That was upsetting to me. That's, you can clean it. Yeah, but good hit. Thank you. Good hit. Well, that's ten plus forty. That's fifty. That's eighty. I thought I could maybe get it that I, round. I thought when I made two major mistakes, I was real concerned that this was closing in on a three to three. Just you have the house, you know. <laughs> three, third game out of five. Yeah. I'm actually okay with that. I know, because you're going to touch the tip, and you're just going to sink yourself. Ah! I, I, fool. I think I hit it too hard. You fool, you missed your Now I gave it to you. Oh. oh! It's so painful when you're right there, you know? I don't like you at all. I'm okay with it. We're still on. <laughs> You're ruining my day. <laughs> I need to make life uncomfortable for you. Ah, I need to stay on the board. That's unfortunate. I'm okay with that. That's not staying on the board, Jesse. You forget sometimes just how slick this game can be. I'm okay with that. <laughs> We're missing shots. Is We're crying yep. now. All right, there we go. I got some board control. And life is hard. I'm gonna try and actually ricochet. You in. are a cow. There we go. I don't <laughs> I like both of you those. very Ooh. much. Knock your own piece off. That would be <laughs> clutch. <laughs> Oopsie. Um. Just gonna try and make them annoying for you. <laughs> All right, time, time to try to sink some twenties. Ah, ah, no, no. <laughs> what was that? All righty, is this your last one? Yep. <laughs> All right. I went for four at the same time. That's, I mean, that's game where we are right now, unless you somehow hit all five of yours and don't land in the middle. I just wanted to end on a 20. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, exploration into the world of Crokinole and books and movies. And that was painful. <laughs> enjoyed it. We'll see you next time for Crokinole ASMR, where we don't talk at all. Ooh.